Hey everybody, welcome back to Fly Tying Tuesday. Uh, my name is Steve and today we're going to tie a really quick and easy, durable and effective pattern. What's not to love about that? Uh, tied by talented angler and fly tyer John Newberry who lives here in Colorado. Um, it's a great fly to imitate a lot of your small winter stones but can also be used in a ton of other scenarios and will certainly catch fish um, in a wide variety of fishing applications. So it's the Glam Rocker Micro Stone Variation. So let's get into it here. The hook and bead I already have prepped include an ASG competition bead. It's a slotted tungsten bead in the three millimeter size. Um, it's a nice kind of shiny black. Um, a lot of beads out there are matte black, but this has a really nice kind of gloss to it. And I'm putting it on a Firehole 516 in a size 16, uh, which is kind of the right size for this pattern, but can be tied smaller and larger depending on your kind of fishing scenario. If you're using UTC 70, like I am today in the dark brown, um, you can just yank out your tag and save yourself from grabbing the scissors. Go right back to about where the barb would be on this barbless hook. And then we're gonna tie in our tail, which is one of the all-time great tailing materials, especially on kind of Euro bugs like this, some CDL. Um, grab whichever is your favorite as far as dark pardo or there's even some awesome bright colors these days too. Um, whatever feels good to you, whatever's going to make you fish well and fish hard, that's the most important thing. And then we're going to come in there with our body material, um, which is just um, two different strand uh, strands of wire. This is Semperfly tying wire in the point uh, two millimeter. Um, it's brown and black, but you can also tie it in a few different colors. That's kind of the the series of glam rocker and alt rocker uh, nymphs from John Newberry. All kind of incorporate this two tone uh, wire body style. So I put mine in a hackle plier, and that helps me kind of get them joined up and pretty straight. I'll tuck that under the slot of the bead and work them down in there together. And then you're going to want to build up a pretty good taper because it's a level material, the wire that is. Um, you can't really build up a taper once you start wrapping that, so it's important to do it ahead of time with your thread here and get a pretty nice shape going. And then just half hitch behind the bead. Use your bobbin cradle. Pull these uh, strands snug together. It's gonna help them lay nice and tight on your touching turns. If you notice any gaps, you can kind of get in there with your fingernail and push them together. and come right up behind the bead. Kind of gather everything with your thread. Pinch hard and helicopter out. And now for the collar, I'm using some uh, ice dub, some UV ice dub and peacock. It's a very, very synthetic, very slippery kind of material, so it is important to put some dubbing wax on there, just help you get a grip. Roll that nice and tight. You can always add more. In fact, you can even take a little bit off if you need to. Just pull it right out of that dubbing noodle. That looks about good. Try not to trap any fibers. And then all that's left is our old friend, the whip finish. And there you have it. Really great Euro bug. Again, simple, durable. Fish really like it. It looks like a lot of different things, but works particularly well for small winter stones. Uh, the Glam Rocker from John Newberry.